Hi everybody. Tonight we are doing no bake cookies, but the takes pudding, instant pudding mix, and um, you can use different flavors. I'm excited about that because it's not just chocolate or peanut butter. Mm. And tonight we're going to do a white chocolate instant pudding in pie filling. So you need one box of that. You need three quarters of a cup of butter, two cups of sugar, two thirds cup of milk, and three and a half cups of quick cooking oats. And that's it. And that's what we're going to do. And I'm so excited. Um, I'm not very good usually at making no bake cookies. Usually I can't get them to come out all right. But we did try the Sashio ones last night. And I actually got them to come out right, and they hardened and everything like they were supposed to. So I'm super excited. So let's hope that this batch comes out good, too, because Emma's super excited because it's white chocolate instead of regular chocolate. And you can't see her because she's on the other side of the camera, but she's shaking her head in excitement. So <laughs> this is what we're going to do. We're going to turn on the heat. And... We're going to do the two cups of sugar into the pan. And I always forget to turn on that light. Let me turn on that light. <laughs> yeah, I'll start reminding you before we do this. I know. You should start reminding me. I forget too. So. And you're going to add the butter, which is three quarters cups of butter. One and a half sticks. That's a lot of sticks. You just do the stick butter and you measure it out. It's one and a half sticks. And the milk. Two thirds cup of milk. Gotta be super duper careful. I did it. You did it without spilling. And we're gonna get that all going in the pan. Mix it all up. And I'll get my pot holder here. Pot holder. I was trying not to catch my pot holders on fire, and I'm, I'm always <laughs> nervous I'm going to do that. Oh, well, now you've unlocked a new fear of mine. Huh? Now you've unlocked a new fear of mine. What, catching your pot holders on fire? Yeah. Not that I really even cook anyway. Well, you cook big cookies. Yeah, but I don't really use a pot holder for that. I just put them in and cook them. Bake, whatever they do. And we're going to let those cook up. And it was funny. I had my daughter oh, oh goodness. get the um <laughs> get the oats out of the tall cover because she's quite a bit taller than me, okay? One minute, there you go. <laughs> she's taller than me. So these are on the top shelf of the cupboard. And she didn't realize the top of the bag had come open when she pulled it out. And when she pulled down <laughs> the oatmeal out of the cupboard oatmeal just rained down on her and it was so much fun and I it was not so much thing. fun it was really it was not. great for me because it didn't happen to me that'd be something yeah, i would do too Come you. On. yeah it's all your fault you probably didn't close the thing no you i probably closed it the thing that probably happened is it probably opened up when you pulled on it well i don't know so i'm not gonna take any credit for this <laughs> the things are melting up funny that I have to stand on my tippy toes to get a good angle. It is. <laughs> I'm short. As you called me last night. Yes. Well, short stack. And I call you Amazon. Yeah. <laughs> Which is funny because I like ordering from Amazon. So. <laughs> yeah, you and me both. <laughs> I have a little bit of an Amazon obsession. Although I don't yeah. do it when I don't have the money to spend on it, but if I got a tiny little bit to splurge in... I like to find something new and exciting to buy on Amazon. And, okay, oh, Friday Lord. I got coming the Mythical Meats um, beef jerky type of things. The, like a Slim Jim, but they're Mythical Meats. They're like yeah. Pegasus and 
Manticore. Basilisk. Basilisk. And I don't think there's a Manticore. Yeah, there is. I don't know. Yeah, there's two packs and there's a Manticore one. Well, I know, but I don't know if we got the Manticore one. No, that one was sold out. Oh. But anyway, <laughs> we got the Mythical Meats Beef Jerky Stick things coming. And no, they're not actually made out of Pegasuses and Well, I like sure that. hope they're not. Well, if they were, I'd like to know where they're getting them from. Yeah, me too. I want to go see one. So this is almost out of oil. So we will have a taste test video of that. Unfortunately, where I'm allergic to fish, though, I can't taste the alligator one. Because I looked up alligator meat and it says if you're allergic to fish, chances are the alligator meat is going to Give you activate your meat. allergic reaction thing. Yeah, and we don't so know I'm not going to try so. it, so I'm going to have my son do the alligator meat. Alligator meat. And that's unfortunate because, you know, I'm a little adventurous. I'd try it. No problem. I would too, but we don't know if I'm allergic. Um, yeah, I know. Yeah. And I don't want to find out because... I don't, I don't either. Wanna... I don't want to... The stopping breathing the thing is not cool. Alright, I'm yeah, going to no. just hit my timer where that's coming to a boil. <laughs> my toy timer. Well, that's what I got. <laughs> I have my phone over here. I could have timed it. Well, I didn't think of that, okay? And we're going to do three minutes. It says in the recipe for do it, to do it for two. But I tried it out with vanilla pudding and it didn't quite firm up enough so we're gonna do three minutes I found that three minutes worked good these were three minute cookies they're very good cookies and the pistachio I know not an appealing color the color on these is not great it looks really bad but they're delectable but they taste like pistachio pudding the kind of tastes like pistachio macarons. Yeah, me and Em really are enjoying them. Very much. So, you boil this up until your timer goes off. And it's a little bit boring waiting for it, but we've got two minutes now left. And, um, so yeah, we've got the Mythical Meats Slim Jim things coming. I'm excited to try that. I've never had ostrich. One of them is ostrich. I've never had antelope. One of them is antelope. So, that sounds interesting. Very interesting. Very interesting. Like, is ostrich going to taste like a chicken type of thing? I don't know. I guess we're going to find they out. They say everything tastes like chicken. I know. You but, ask what frog likes. bird. Yeah. But oh, there's you... also duck, too. And yeah. I've never had duck. I'm kind of excited for the duck one. No, I've never tried duck. I'm excited for the venison ones. At least I don't have to see it. It doesn't look like a duck. Like when I got the rabbit meat in the food pantry. <laughs> it looked like a rabbit? It kind of looked rabbity. So, <laughs> yeah, that was just so wrong. Isn't there venison ones? There is venison. I guess I'm okay with that. It's deer meat, right? Yeah. Garden but everything like is them. mixed with beef. Yeah. And we got one minute left. So, I'm hoping the beef will kind of offset... The venison flavor, I'm not really big on deer meat. It's very gamey. I've never had it. I could just ask Greg for it, to be honest, because he's deer meat. He's got a ton of it in the <laughs> freezer. Ugh. It smells really... I don't like the smell of deer meat cooking. It's just too gamey. It's too much. So, ugh, no. But, you know, I'll try it. I'll try it. We're all going to try it. Yeah. And probably Izzy will be here too, so she'll probably try. Oh, she to. probably will, cause it's Friday. So, yeah, fun, fun. And then and twenty more seconds left. Twenty seconds. Then you're flabbergasted because I want to try your sweet and sour sauce. I know the sweet and sour sauce that I made on another video on here, the comparable to the McDonald's. I finally, finally convinced my daughter she needs to try it. And she's <laughs> gonna try it tonight when we have our supper. We're just having popcorn chicken and. Possibly Whatever tater else. tots. Tater tots, yeah, probably tater tots. Tater tots are delectable. That we're put together. Okay, this is done. And hopefully, I did it right and cooked it long enough. And now we're going to add the pudding, one package of pudding mix, whatever flavor you want. Like I said, we did pistachio and I tried the vanilla and I messed up the vanilla recipe because I did like two little milk and I didn't cook it long enough. I guess the two minutes wasn't long enough. So. But I have a tendency not to do that, and I guess that's my problem in cooking. 
the no bake cookies. So, I'd probably add too much salt. No, you wouldn't. You only did that <laughs> once. Yeah, I'm still never gonna love my list. But that, 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 that. And I find it's I can't nice speak. to mix the pudding in and get it all incorporated into the butter, milk, sugar mixture. Well, this is why I let you speak, because I can't speak. It smells like white chocolate. Well, so don't now, ask me to smell it, because I can't smell it. I know you can't smell anything because you get a cold. Yes, I do, unfortunately. So here we are. And we're going to do three and a half cups of oats. And I think I'm going to switch out to a spatula. The spatula, yeah. <laughs> I always know what you're going to say. Mm -hmm. There it is. Yeah, usually, usually one of us. And this there. recipe is a little more forgiving in the time you've got to work for with it, too. Because it's still quite hot. So it doesn't really cool down. You know, it's fast. And three... And we'll go with the half. Three and a half cups of oats. Oh, there goes my timer still. I want to get these mixed in, so don't worry about my beeping timer for a minute. Because <laughs> I have to go open the microwave to get that to stop. You can also press the stop button. Oh, yeah, I can do that too. <laughs> Opening the door, I don't really have to think, though. That is true. That's a plus. Alright. And it says to let these sit for five minutes in the pan. Um, we put them on parchment paper. But I'm going to just put it on the parchment paper. Which is really easy. You just put them on parchment paper. Yep. <laughs> So we get up the parchment Which is up there. Yeah, see, she could just like... I could just reach up and grab reach it. Up and fully grab that. <laughs> she has to stand on her tippy toes. Luckily, I don't have to walk forward. I had a doctor's appointment the other day where I had to stand up on my tippy toes and walk forward. And I couldn't do it. Oh my god, I was so flabbergasted and felt so stupid Flabbergasted? Afterwards. I rubbed off on you, Mumsy. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> but I couldn't do it. It floored me. That I could not figure out how to walk forward on my tippy toes. Yeah, well... I couldn't walk forward on my heels either. It was so weird. Yeah. Yeah, well, be thankful you're as tall as you are because my friend, she couldn't even reach it. I know. At She's all. A shorty. She couldn't even reach the first half. So anyway, it says <laughs> to let it sit five minutes, but I don't bother. I just Scoop put it, it on this because I'm... Impatient. Very impatient. I'm not good at waiting. I am. I'm very good at waiting. There's the microwave again. I know. I should go shut that off. <laughs> it's going to bug me. <laughs> Alright. There we go. Oh, see? You pressed the stop button this time. I did. You did. <laughs> so you can make these any size you want. Yeah, they just make them pretty good sizes. It's not like you have to make them the same size because they don't have to cook when you put them on the parchment paper. So It's so neat to have different flavors of these, though. I've always it only is. had chocolate and peanut butter. Yeah, because uh, my grandmother, her mom, makes uh, no-bake cookies. And that's the yeah, kind she, she makes. she does an amazing job at it. Usually. She does. They're like a family favorite. But now I found a recipe that's almost foolproof for me. Yeah, so you can't mess thing. it up this time. Well, I can, because I messed well, up the yeah. vanilla ones. I don't know. I just didn't cook them long enough or something. But they didn't yeah. harden. Well, did you add a long amount of milk? I did, but it was smaller than the amount of milk was supposed to be, so that shouldn't have bothered um, it too much. No. But they didn't harden. I didn't cook them long enough, I guess. I'm never usually sure... <coughs> When you cook them, if you're supposed to, like, wait until it comes to a full rolling boil. So that's why I ended up putting it up to, like, 
three minutes because then I figured even if it wasn't at a full rolling boil or wasn't boiling enough when I did the timer for two minutes, I figured three minutes is definitely going to get me there. Those look really good. They kind of look like Rice Krispie Cheats in a way. Yeah, they do. And this is easy. You probably have most of this stuff right in your... Kitchen. Kitchen. That's what you need to use. Yeah, you only need milk, sugar, oats, pudding. Oddly <coughs> enough, I did not have butter. butter left on me because I had to take my vehicle into the... Shop. Shop and haven't been able to go to the store. But I got to run up today and got... The kids a few valentines. They were very good, by the way. And got the butter and the milk that I needed to make some more of these. I mean, oddly <coughs> enough, I have the pudding mix on hand because I'm still trying to perfect the jello pudding fudge. It's still coming out squishy. I don't understand. It doesn't look squishy on the little recipe card thingy. Maybe you have to try and freeze it for a few minutes. No, it's just going to stay squishy for some reason. And I'm going to figure oh. it out. I will. It's just going to take some trial and error. Yep. All recipes take trial and error. Unless it's your recipe that I don't know. This one was like time. spot on except for like for me for the cooking time because yeah. evidently I had it wrong. That one's going to be kind of big cookie. I'll take that one. Because it gets what's left. I'll take that cookie then. <laughs> Is it a little cookie? That one's kind of little, I guess. Tastes good. So we're going to let these harden up. And I will be back to show you the finished product after they've had a chance to sit and harden up. And hopefully I've done them right and they will sit and harden up. They should. They always already feel like they're getting a little harder. So we will be back and we will show you the finished product when they're all hardened up and look wonderful and perfect. And when you view this video, I will post the link for the vanilla um, cookies, no bake cookies. And then if you want to change up the flavor, you just change up the kind of pudding that you use. We're also going to do like, I don't know, I think we're going to try butterscotch. And chocolate mint. And then next fall when the pumpkin spice comes out, we'll try the pumpkin <coughs> spice ones. And I love pumpkin spice. We're just going to try any kind of pudding that we can find, I guess. I have strawberry pudding in there, too, but Emma doesn't really I care for strawberry. strawberry. So I'm probably going to be the one. I like strawberries. To eat those with whoever else. But I don't like the artificial yes. strawberry flavoring. So anyway, we'll be back when these harden up and show you the finished product. So my cookies came out perfect, and here they are, all out on a parchment paper, and I'm not going to eat one right now because I've already had one or two, or maybe three. Oh no, I'm going to go eat the third one, probably, maybe, I don't know, but there, jello pudding in the cookies, great idea, many flavors to choose from. Have fun. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button.